folks, welcome back to the balcony. We are here because I wanted to set up the recharging system of the batteries. So I got the small battery there, I got the big, big one here. That was heavier than I thought. I uh, planned to do this when the sun was up. The sun was up, but then, you know, it's me and it's Sweden. So the sun is obviously down now once the camera is up. But hopefully it will come back. Anyway, it's still actually charging. So yeah, we need the sun, but it's not crucial. It is still charging, even though it's not super sunny. So that's a good thing. But the key thing about this is that this here, the solar panel, is what will enable you to be completely off grid for, um, well, as long as the sun is around and everything works. So that's something that is really, really cool that I really want to share with you guys. All right, so this is the one that we're giving away and it comes with two standard European or Scandinavian, I should say, I think European uh, inputs here. And you got your monitor here where you can see how much power it got. And you also got a USB-C, USB-A and fast charge here as well. Turn it on by pressing there. And there you can see the display. And here you got the car charger. So you plug this one in the 12 volt in your car and then it goes here again, if you want to charge it. You can also, this is also an output if you want to put power through there, you can do that. And a cool thing about this one that we're giving away is that you have a little light here. You can increase the lighting and you can also send what we believe is Morse code for SRS. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. You're wrong. <laughs> And this one is, I mean, I'm obviously very strong as you can tell, but I think this one is, <laughs> I think this one is pretty light. Yeah. It's, uh, maybe nothing I would carry on a long distance trek, but uh, you know, if you're gonna walk a little bit of distance, you can easily carry this one with you. And then you got uh, power, if you wanna power your computer, your camera, or if you're gonna do like we will do, uh, we're gonna take some shots outside or film outside. And if you want these bigger lights with us, we're gonna, bring one of these ones and we're going to be able to work uh, effectively for a couple of hours. In the back here, you have the charging ports and all that and here you can connect the solar panel and yeah, that's pretty much it, right? All right, so remember, big juicy description of why you deserve to win this one and what you're going to do with it and I'm going to pick the best comment or me and Albert are going to have a little selection process there that we're going to pick the best comments uh, that and that one that person will uh, will win this one all right good luck so here we got the uh, delta the slightly bigger version or the much bigger it's it's incredibly powerful uh, you got a rubberized band up here so you can store things or you can just place things that they won't slide away two handles you want to carry it with one hand you can do that as well uh, on the side here, it comes with four outlets and a uh, 12 volt outlet as well. You can see that there. And you got the display. Turn it on there. You got the display here. USB type A ports, fast charge USB as well, and then USB C on two of the ports here as well. Charging, you do that from the side here. And again, that's where you just plug it into the wall. And here we can use the solar panel. So what are you going to use this for, then? Well, right now it might look like I don't know what I'm doing. That is because I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I'm trying this, and I'm a man. Obviously, we don't read manuals. Things are just supposed to work, right? All right, so plug that one in there. This is some sort of a adapter for from this part, because this one has the normal contact, as you guys Hopefully you can see from there, you get another wall charger when you buy an electric car. And as I mentioned before, EcoFlow um, claims that you're able to charge your car with this battery. You're not going to be able to charge it 100%, but just the fact that you're actually able to do that, that's something that I wanted to show because it intrigued me a little bit. So, all right, let's see. I know what I'm doing. There we go. I knew what I'm. I know what I was doing. All right. Okay. So that's one. That one is in there. There we go. Okay. Well, I've 
checked. I think I've done everything correctly. Um, but yeah, it, at least this setup doesn't work. Maybe I need another cable, another car. But yeah, as it looks right now, it doesn't work. All right, so we got a couple of interesting developments. I have tried myself to charge this car with the battery. And my best friend of all time, Jeppe, who supported me with this car, he came with his car and we're trying to charge that car now as well. But yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, so it's not just a matter of plugging and playing. We don't know exactly what we did wrong or if we did something wrong, but at least with um, these batteries and these adapters and these cars, it doesn't work. It might work for other cars, but yeah. We've tried it here, but I'll, I will uh, see if I can talk to the company and uh, maybe they have some other input for us or what we should have done instead. We'll see how that goes. All right, so as you can tell, we're in the studio. The, light is, the lighting here is obviously a little bit different than it, it, than it is outside. What, what kind of light is this here? Uh, it's an Aperture 120D Mark II. So it's professional video lights. Yeah, for the rest of us, big, big lamp, and uh, that works great. And it also consumes a lot of power. And if we look down here, let me just see if I can, you can see that that's the only thing that's plugged into it right now, and that will give us eight hours of work. And you had a, a pretty interesting point there uh, with that. So what will that enable people like you to do? Well, the first thing I thought is that, uh, I mean, a lot of filmmakers and uh, videographers and also photographers who would like to take their lights out, outside, of course. Yeah. Uh, especially the big lights. Uh, they of course a lot of the time maybe take transist uh, like transmission motors yeah, with the them. generators yeah. generators and uh, I mean with, with this kind of a battery they could take one battery and power yeah. like three or four lights probably yeah time for some further testing with uh, we got some more lights in the back so that's what we're gonna try I think we're just gonna hook up everything we can and see how much we can do with that in a, like an effective workspace okay so we hooked up the uh, Delta to the soft Oh, sorry, the panel here, the softbox here, and the RGB light here. And this will give us now, looks like three hours of, uh, of effective work time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty. And obviously if you're stuck in a cabin uh, or you just need a backup power, uh, this is a really good solution for that. As you've seen, we tried to charge the uh, ID3 from uh, Volkswagen and somehow that didn't work. Uh, hopefully by now I should have gotten a response from them, but yeah, nothing yet. Coolin. Coolin. You can charge your computer, the 16 inch, 16 inch laptop, your phone. And this right now is at around 78, 83 hours of uh, charging time for these two. The river is the one that you can win. And as you can tell, it's a battery. You can use it if you have a cabin that is off the grid or if you're just out camping with your car perhaps and you still need that extra power for a cooler or charge up your computer, your camera, whatever, your drones. This is a perfect uh, companion for that. It's lightweight, fairly lightweight due to the, uh, or compared to the amount of power that you get out from it. So there's a juice pack, deluxe, extra everything, a lot of power in this thing. So. What I need you guys to do is simply just describe to me if you need it, why you need it, and what you're gonna do with it. And then uh, the, where I, or Albert, where we see that it has the biggest impact, it's simply that person who's gonna win here. And uh, it would also, of course, be really cool if you can send us some footage of you using it in that sort of scenario that you explained to us that you will use it in. Um, so yeah. And again, these things, the solar panel and the big battery, I will use that for myself in the future. I got a lot of interesting things planned there that hopefully will, uh, will come true. You will be on that adventure with me, definitely. So just uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, if you got any questions regarding these things, um, I'll be happy to, to answer them, of course. I did send EcoFlow an email regarding the charging of the car. They have yet to respond, so yeah. They asked me to, uh, they sent me these batteries, as you probably know by now. They asked me to do a um, non-bias review, is that, is, that, is that a thing? Yeah, something like that, and this is as genuine and as non-biased it can get. I couldn't get it to charge the car, my best friend uh, Jeppe couldn't get it to charge his car either. 
it should be a matter of a plug and play there are not that many settings and yeah it's been a couple of weeks now since i emailed them them and there is uh no response so i hope uh, everyone got what they asked for and um yeah now you know all right thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers and uh i'll see you guys in the next one i think we're gonna have a closer look at a new tent stay tuned Oh,